So what we are seeing actually, you know, things have changed from, you know, 1939, 1936, when electric cooperatives started serving uh, membership. Uh, we're seeing members now being wanting to be more engaged with their utility, right? So how many people have a smartphone here? Everybody. Yeah. So there's really no rotary phone anymore, anywhere. Some people still have it, but, you know. Uh, and then also, the way we consume things has kind of changed, right? I think there's only one blockbuster store in the U.S. right now, somewhere in Oregon. I wonder why it's still there. Everybody watch, watches Netflix now. So the same thing is happening, right, with the electric grid. Things have changed. You know, regardless of what is happening behind, I mean, in front of the meter, you know, also at the very high level, policy level, you know, with generation transmission and everything like that, the way members consume and interact with the grid has changed, right? So in addition to having smartphones, we have all these smart apps, right, where you can use to track your energy use, you have your solar, you have your battery storage. So people have moved, right, from being just a transactional rate payer, which was the case before, to now the point where you are a prosumer, you know, with all of the assets you have behind the meter. And then we're seeing that this transition is moving, right, to where you would want this transumer kind of people on the grid where they're pretty much smart. So you are generating and consuming electricity at the same time. And this is where we see that the industry is actually going. So, and this is being driven by a lot of the things that we've spoken about today uh, from, you know, decarbonization and then also decentralization and digitalization of the grid. So, um, the way we would interact and solve member problems in the future also has to evolve with these things that we are seeing change uh, behind the meter.